one day, a new student turned up at Cormon's studio. He was Dutch, wild-eyed, red-headed. It was Vincent van Gogh. Henry and Vincent were soon buddies, and Henry painted van Gogh at this cafe table, staring down ever so sadly at a glass of absinthe. All absinthe actually was, was an aniseed-flavoured alcoholic schnapps with a bitter aftertaste. But something about it worried people. By the time Henry painted Vincent hunched over his absinthe, it had long since earned itself a satanic and dangerous reputation. There were all sorts of ridiculous rituals attached to the drinking of absinthe. Special glasses, special spoons. You put the sugar cube on here and poured water onto it to sweeten the bitterness. Then you watched as the green fairy was released. The dangerous ingredient of absinthe, the one that triggered all the lurid fantasies, was wormwood, a traditional mountain plant that had been used since ancient times in pick-me-ups and tonics. But wormwood was called wormwood or snakewood sometimes, because of the disguise that Satan adopted in the Garden of Paradise as a snake in a tree. Wormwood took control of you too and made strange things happen. It made you hallucinate and twitch. It attacked your nervous system and drove you mad. Only then did it kill you. The Belle Epoque loved fantasizing about this stuff. A little known fact about Wormwood is that its Latin name is Artemisia, after the Roman goddess of the moon, the protector of women. And when it was still a herbal remedy peddled by quacks, absinthe, or Wormwood, was used by women to regulate their menstruation and wet nurses trying to wean children off their breasts would rub wormwood into themselves so the kids couldn't suck because of the bitterness. So all these paintings that Henry did of sad women staring into their glass of absinthe aren't just paintings of Montmartre girls down on their luck. These are paintings of all womanhood betrayed by its goddess the goddess of the moon. As you know, Henry drank far too much absinthe. It was one of the things that killed him. His favorite cocktail was called an earthquake, absinthe with cognac. And the absinthe myth is a key component of the Henry myth. Brazil banned it in 1906, then America, then everywhere else. But France, which had always had a particular attachment to it, waited until 1915. Now, it's just a strong and nasty booze. And I'd like to stop mythologizing it right now, but you know, there is something terribly seductive about the way it clouds up when you pour the water on it and release the green fairy. Oh, fucking hell. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs>